Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the five types of testing. I will try to explain them in seven minutes. We are going to learn about the integration testing, regression testing, load testing, performance testing, and the security testing. What are the different tools? What are their definitions, and why they are important for you as a fresher as well as as experienced software tester? So let's get started and let's learn about the testing in a quick way. First of all, let's jump with the first one, which is integration testing. Right? If you go with the traditional example or a traditional definition right it's a type of a testing when multiple software module that you have when you basically stick together right make them a single unit and when you want to test it right it's basically an integration testing for example in the diagram that you have seen right for example different different small modules are getting together right they are basically stick together right now and that you want to test it out so let's take a proper example right for example we have a login page we have a sign up page we have a add to cart page right we have a payment page and after that we have a thank you page it's a separate separate module now what we have done is basically now we have combined it now it basically a proper e-commerce website so testing that website where every module is basically now stick together it's called as integration testing right and we have a various type of integration testing available we have a big bang integration we have top down we have incremental right we have bottom up and the hybrid right uh, if you want to learn more about it big bang integration i think which is most important for interview also right you can watch this video i'm going to put a link also or somewhere right that you can do that again what are the different tools used to do the integration testing right tools are nothing but for example it's a whenever we are doing a manual testing right whatever the tool that we use in a manual testing for example to create a test plan as well as uh, jira for our bug reporting and other things right similarly things that we have to do so let's jump to the regression testing i hope integration testing is clear to you right and regression testing it is one of the most important uh, thing that you should know because many times people ask you these things uh, definition or sometimes what exactly it is in the interview also all right if you say as it can verify the software behavior after code push or running through the predefined checklist and, and purpose of this to make sure that the additional changes uh, does not break the previous system. very simple let me bold this is which is regression testing is basically done whole purpose of regression testing is that the additional changes that we have right? for example we have made a e-commerce website now we have added a extra functionality to it right so previous functionality doesn't break right that we want to basically test so that's why regression testing is introduced and what kind of tool that you can use again it depends upon what environment that you are using right for example if you are using a web or a mobile right based on that for example you can have some ui related tools for example selenium you can use cybrus you can use playwright and for mobile you can use apm and for your test management you can use some tmd tools and other things right regression testing is nothing but additional changes whatever the additional changes that we have added previous changes doesn't break that's why we do the regression testing i hope this is clear and let's move on to the load testing which is very very important our definition traditional definition of load testing is basically examine if you see examining how the system behave during the normal or high load right Generally, in this as that they verify the system capacity as well as at a particular time, if there is expected traffic, how your system will start behaving. That we want to test. That we call it load testing in this case, right? So what we do is you will know how many users we can anticipate, right? For example, suppose we are launching a e-commerce website, for example, Flipkart.com or probably Amazon.com, right? Now we want to see if suppose one million users basically start using this and we have just launched this, right? We want to test it out how our application will behave. That thing we want to see right and here for example you can use different tools like web load load view load runner there are multiple tools that you can use for example airline website during the promotion site right or government web portals whenever there is a tax related things right you will see those things load testing probably they have done it right so load testing if you know it's a type of performance testing that simulate the real world scenario right where they will start putting the users into your website and see how your system behave right and it's very different from the performance testing. So let's move on to the performance testing now. So performance testing is nothing but it's a testing type. Again, it's basically to measure, evaluate the speed of your system, responsiveness of your system. By system, I mean your web application or it can be your mobile application also. We want to basically evaluate your speed. We want to evaluate your responsiveness, stability, stability of your computer network, right? And a software program or it can be any other. Right. It is important that we basically do the performance testing before releasing it. Right. It's a really, really important. And if you see, there is a huge uh, difference between that. So performance testing is a type of testing uh, which is uh, which is carried by determine the students. And basically, we want to basically check the how sensitive, reactive, and stable is your system. 
and in load testing we want to verify how your system will perform based on the traffic so i think this is clear and performance testing is highly recommended if you want to discover the issues related to your system right for example if you want to see if suppose 1 million users start using it what is your speed of your website how it will react to that security testing again security testing is a type of testing basically where you want to find out uh, vulnerabilities in the system or a web application for example vulnerability related to oas top 10 right it can be related to for example there are authentication issues or other things related issues right so that you can check out so i think this link where oas dot 10 you can find uh, the different vulnerabilities you you basically do security testing penetration risk assessment and other things right so we have a different type of security testing also so this was a quick view guys where we have learned about the security testing performance testing load testing for regression as well as integration which is really really important to know because many times generally people ask me this question and this pdf is available in the description you can download it and thanks a lot for watching this video if you have liked it and if you like these kind of quick videos where i am discussing about different type of testing right type part 2 in the comment so that i will come up with five more type of testing where we will try to cover as much as type of testing so that we uh, we are prepared for interviews all right thanks a lot for watching this video till now and i hope you have learned something new bye Bye.